10 electric vehicles to get more range than advertised in real world tests. The range on these vehicles is probably about what you would expect in wintertime. And it's just very interesting that they chose to go with a lower expected range. And this is quite a diverse group of vehicles. First car on the list is the 2023 BMW i4 M50. This is a high performance car and often means it has more power than advertised and its electric range figures are no different. So it's advertised as having 271 mile range and in real world testing, they actually had 318. That's a pretty big difference. That's 47 miles. That'd be about the difference of what it would perform in winter. So it was probably, may have been tested originally in cold weather driving. 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E Premium All-Wheel Drive Extended. It uh, was advertised as a 270 mile battery, but in real world, it actually got 299. So that's about 10% increase. And that's pretty decent for the Ford Mach-E. It's good to see something good coming out of Ford. The 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5. SEL all-wheel drive. While real-world testing shows some advantageous range numbers, the results aren't particularly impressive. Clean range of 270, consumer reports said it could go 267. Well, that one didn't really seem to make any difference. That's 270, 267 is a statistical anomaly there. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 350-4MATIC. The EPA rating claims 260 miles for the lower end, while car and driver and consumer reports both hit 332. That's a 72-mile increase. That is um, over 30% more range. That's a pretty big deal. Nice-looking vehicle there, this EQE 350. The 2022 Rivian R1T. EPA claimed 314 miles. Consumer Reports got 334 miles, which is an extra 20. The car and driver only got 220. Much poorer. Makes you really wonder what were the differences between the 334 and the 220. And it, obviously there wasn't the same truck. It's amazing that the difference could have been that dramatic between two vehicles. 2021 Volkswagen ID4 Pro. 240 mile range of what it's advertised. It achieved 253 with consumer reports. Car and driver matched the 88 MPGE by getting 82 in the winter. 2023 BMW iX xDrive 50. Either you love or hate the iX based on its looks. The driving experience is worth exploring for prospective EV SUV buyers. It's good range numbers. 315 miles is what is expected from the EPA. The Consumer Reports got 370. It, by car and driver got 290. So that's a 10% drop in cold weather, which isn't a very big drop. But if it was getting another 55 miles of range, when Consumer Reports tested it, this tells you it's capable of doing it. One of the things is too, a lot of the ranges are given at say 60 or 65 miles per hour. And if you drive the vehicle at say 30 or 40 miles per hour, you're gonna extend the range by about 50%. But it's just not normal for people to drive at those speeds. 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV 450. EPA says 285, Consumer Reports got 314, which is about a 10% increase. Car and driver was pushing it on the highway at 75 and they only got 260 miles at 75 miles per hour. This is what I was just saying. If you're, the faster you go, the less range you get. The slower you go, that range goes up tremendously. The Kia EV6 Wind All-Wheel Drive 2022 got three miles above its claim 274 but did not do that well in cold weather though got 190 miles of cold highway range with car and driver which was what an 84 mile drop off almost lost almost a third of its range when it was in cold weather and our last cars the 2022 mercedes-benz eqs 580 formatic the consumer reports tested 380 miles of range which is 40 more than what the EPA claimed. Now this vehicle has 516 horsepower and zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Pretty quick vehicle, nice looking at that. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. 
If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.